Oh my god, I love you so much, Omnimon! <laughs> I love you so much! We've established that Omnimon can split down to Abumon and Gabumon to be less conspicuous. But here, they are simply not. <laughs> they just are not doing that. Well, why would they need to disguise themselves in a cafe? I mean, I guess they're among friends, so they can just be themselves, but then the logistics of the size of the cafe are clearly the issue. <laughs> I love the little lean downwards so that their head doesn't bog the ceiling. That's wonderful. If Gabumon's pronouns were female and Agumon's were male, male. I guess they'd be... They'd, I, I mean, either way, they're, because they're a fusion, they are, they are a they. Yeah. It's like Steven Universe rules, so yeah. I don't think Omnimon's ever referred to as a he. I think they are always, because they are two entities in one, so yeah. It's like that thing I saw of like, I, my pronouns are they, not because I'm not binary, because I'm literally two motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm lit I think it was Venom, like, no, I'm literally more than one person. So are they both Agumon and Gabumon royal knights? Yeah, I think to a degree. Maybe they don't, maybe when they are in their component parts, they do not count fully as a knight, but they are, again, they are the parts needed to create the knight, so yeah. Semi-royal knights. Royal squires, that's the term I coined before for uh, Hackmon, yeah. Before he became a knight, yeah. Hmm. Anyway, Examon is running around fucking shit up. Uh, Examon's that big fuck-off dragon we saw. He's not actually their King Drasil, as they've been calling him, which is meant to be Yggdrasil, the tree. Um, no, that's just one of the royal knights who oh. happens to be a big fuck off dragon. So yeah, we got to deal with him, and he's like the strongest royal knight by a wide margin, and he's not joining our side. Have we asked? I mean, no, but he is currently flying around and murdering people en masse, so I think he, it might be a hard sell. Have you tried just telling him off? <laughs> Examon, you come here right now, you naughty boy, big fuck of dragon, <laughs> towering over you. I would stand at the top of the tallest skyscraper, point at him and go, no, stand, bad, bad Examon, not allowed. You go back to digital world, you think about what you've done. I can't, I literally can't do that. Right, you get a timeout, go sit over there with Godzilla. Okay! <laughs> they just sit in a little <laughs> naughty corner, <laughs> put a dunce cap on him, a giant dunce cap! Oh, I need to see that on screen. <laughs> God, so much work for me to do! Alright then, well, I notice if I say these things, you have to edit them. Oh yeah, you, you've realised the trick. You can get me to pretty much put anything on the screen if you describe it thoroughly enough, so yeah. Look at this picture of a worn out shoe! <laughs> <laughs> That's not hard to do, thankfully. Um, with eyes! Okay, now it has <laughs> eyes. Uh, so, this whole scene is, we don't know how to deal with the big fuck off dragon, and Nokia being like, oh, alright, let's just charge in and get him. That's the way to do it, that seems sensible. Also, uh, this is, I should probably tell you all, Arata's turned evil. Uh, Arata is now evil as fuck. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Sorry to drop the news on you right here and now. I know we're busy, but I feel like you had to know. Well, would you say he's really turned evil? Evil? Uh, okay, if we're going to be pedantic about the word evil, he's not evil. He's just self-interested and murderous. Which many would describe as pretty evil. Wow. Isn't that what conceiving a child is? That, can, that child never asked to be created. You did. That was your choice. You mm. did that to them. Okay. Maybe your tadpoles were happy swimming around in your bowls. Your <laughs> tadpoles? Please never refer to sperm as tadpoles. I know they're close visually, but don't ever do that again. But maybe that's, you know, they maybe they were happy swimming around with all like their millions of buddies. And then one of them, like, they just get like shot at an egg. Mm. And then you're just like, oh, I guess I'm stuck in here now. I'll see you in nine months, Dad. Are you still bitter about that time you got you, you, you got shot into an egg, Dan? Does that still bother you? Is it still bothering you? Yes. <laughs> Is this a personal grudge? I was happy that day. Were you now? 
Yeah, well, it was late. You know, what my parents were doing up at that night, well, I can guess what they were doing, <laughs> but I was asleep, you know. <laughs> You're just trying to have a nice chill time. I was getting round around, and this is getting too graphic. <laughs> <laughs> It's your, it's your parents you're talking about, mate. I would go all fucking day. I don't care, but... Let's go to Diver City, Isle of Dragons. Fun fact about this chapter, you never go anywhere called Diver City. So I'm going to assume that's the name of, like, a Japanese district that's never outwardly named, but... Yeah. And this city is fucked. It's utterly fucked. That's what happens when you have a royal knight who actually doesn't give a fuck and will just kill on sight. I do like the lighting effect here. Oh yeah, it's really goddamn cool to look at. Mm. Oh, this music's pretty good as well. Mm. Oh yeah, god. Better than the shit you were making me listen to before we recorded. So Dan really hates Siva Gunner, and I was just playing a bunch of Siva Gunner music. I was playing you some good ones, and yeah. then I showed you what they did to the Nia soundtrack, and then you were distraught forever. Nia is like that hidden gem I found years ago. And then it got popular, and now it's not cool anymore because everyone likes Nia now. I just, I want them both on Switch. Oh, that would be great. I would die for Nia and Automata on the Switch. I went to go see the goddamn concert of that game. Like, that's how much I'm into Nia. Anyways, uh, got a couple of enemies here to just casually dunk on. Not too tricky, honestly. I'm at the point now where I just hit start and then they just defeat shit for me. Don't really have to think anymore. I've got a nice strong team of ultimates and megas. Not that fussed about dark fucking flying dragon mon, whatever you're called. And now we slice you in half. There we go. Easy fucking peasy. Oh, I just noticed that hmm? Leomon's eyes light up as well with that sword. Oh yeah, that's when he's at his most pained. <laughs> he's like, ah! <laughs> ah! Make it stop! I was thinking more like, you know, like in anime when like the wife is really angry, her eyes just glow. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's you get pissed. The big red vein mark, <laughs> popping vein mark. Who think anime characters would all have severe like fucking aneurysms with the amount their veins pop in their heads when they get mad? I like a girl who's veiny. Has veins all throughout her body. Yeah. I like girls who are, are alive. <laughs> with, with circulation and I such. Mean, they argue more than the ones I usually see. <laughs> <laughs> no! ah! Here's Examon. I know that it's meant to look gross, but the way he looks with his body all fucked up like that actively fucking ugh, actively disgusts me. Kind of like when you see, like, kind of like Tryptophilia, where there's just... The, there's just something off about that body. I hate it. I actually kind of hate it. What's cryptophilia? Uh, I'm trying to describe the one thing where you don't like holes on the body, where you see like just holes where skin should oh, be. Oh yeah. Yeah, that yeah. kind of shit. Like that's the same. It gives me that same ugh, gross feeling seeing Exomon like this. Hmm. There's Crusader Mon just being her usual bitchy self. I think that's safe to say. I don't think that's problematic for me to describe her as. And also she's like, oh, I haven't met some of you. Let me tell you who I am. Before I kill you all, of course. Stop showing me gross pictures on your phone. To try and throw me off, Dan. I know, I see your game here. We're not playing your game. I like my game. It's called Upset David. <laughs> David's trying to do a commentary. I will ruin it. <laughs> I will cause problems on purpose. I like the Crusader mods just acquired a rose. Just one rose to hold in the most anime villain way possible. <laughs> or Tuxedo Mask, I guess, but either way. Or James. How many other anime characters are known for just holding a rose? So where the fuck did it go? <laughs> he just slight handed it away. Whoosh! Gone. She ate it. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way the thorns taste! Oh, the blood! Oh, the blood! <laughs> nice and irony. Okay, so apparently this is not going exactly how a Crusader mod intended, but shit's working anyway. It all plays into the plan of fuck up humanity, because fuck humanity, so... Whatever it takes, it's gonna be done. Yuko's here like, how could, how, how could you hurt innocent people? I'm like, Yuko, 
Have you met Crusademon? You know, the person who's ruined your entire life and killed your father. Have you met her? <laughs> Are you... you may want to rethink this. Maybe she's, you know, the whole forgive and forget thing. Yeah, maybe she's very forgiving. <laughs> very much like, eh, it's fine. It's all good. That's all in the past now, whatever. Okay, so Crusademon's dropping her uh, motives here. You guys fucked up our world. This was your fault. Specifically your fault. Not humanity as a whole, you three. So, and your damn dog. Yeah. <laughs> and understandably, our cast are like, excuse the fuck me, what? What? Also, yes, I did kill your father. Fuck your father. Fuck you. I'm sure she would have. <laughs> if it meant I could kill him more effectively, then yes. Yes, I would. You enjoy that nice... Nice fucking drag right there. A nice big vape. Delicious. I think any time a woman tells a man that she's pregnant, he does die a little inside. I mean, <laughs> unless they were actively trying for a baby. Nah, I think all. <laughs> Just in general. <laughs> Wait, what prompted you to say that? Oh, the dad thing. Right, okay then. Well, you just randomly went on a tangent about how much you hate the idea of having kids. No, I want to have kids at some point. But I will die inside when it happens. Yeah, I will be absolutely mortified. And I will regret that decision their entire life, like my dad does me. Ah, oh, okay. It's the circle of life. It's the circle of hate. <laughs> and it rules us all. Come on, Elton John, you're with me on this. Sure, why not? I guess I'm Elton John now. <laughs> you're, you're Black Elton John. That is you! That is you! <laughs> Fuck, I'll take that. He's talented. Anyway, here we have the rest of the Royal Knights to back us up. We're going to fight Examon with four other Royal Knights in tow. Let's go! Even Ulfors Vidramon. But no Rena. I don't know where the hell Rena is right now. He's off punching some stalker. It's <laughs> just... Beating the shit out of Digimon in the street for fun. Alright, so we have a big boss fight here against an enemy with a stupid amount of health. Let's fucking go. And even if they are Royal Knights, keep in mind, this is Cyber Sleuth. Any friendly NPC that's on your team is gonna suck. <laughs> They're gonna suck, so yeah. I know we've been over this before, but uh, Magdramon, uh, he's a mega, isn't he? Uh, he's armor. He's an armor digivolution, which basically means, like, his power could be whatever it needs to be. Obviously, he's stronger than Flame Dramon, but in this game, and I think in the anime, he's on par with a mega level, if not slightly higher mm. than mega. Because I was thinking he's, like, one of the top top dogs in the series, in the show. Oh, yeah, um, but in the show, like, Magnadramon fucked shit up, but they still went for Pyildramon yeah. when push came to shove in the final arc, so... I think Pyildramon's, like, maybe Magnadramon's more powerful, but Pyildramon is fucking massive. Mm. Or, imp sorry, Imperial Dramon. Imperial Dramon is fucking massive, so he's more useful in general because of the sheer size. Like, I remember the part where they put him in dragon mode and literally used him to travel around. <laughs> like he had a compartment where he could hold them. <laughs> like he was a dry, like he was a vehicle. So yeah. Anyway, yeah, this fight's actually pretty goddamn tough. And obviously, like many fights, I went into it with the worst possible team. So just gonna rearrange these motherfuckers a little. There we go. And the main thing is, as so long as I can survive a volley of attacks from this guy. Because he only attacks semi-regularly, his attacks don't get more powerful or speedy over time. You know, this is doable, it's just a very, very long war of attrition with how little damage I'm doing to him. Oh, yeah. And this move... If that hit me, that would have really sucked, it didn't thankfully. Uh, this is scripted. Thankfully you don't have to expend that entire massive health bar. Because I'm sure he has millions of HP. So yeah, simply taking him on, even with all of his peers, is not going to do it. Examon is comically overpowered. We need to weaken him some other way. Alright, Spikesmon, you do that. Good spiky friend. Which Royal Knight's your favourite? 
Oh, come down to either Gallimon or Omnimon. Really? Okay. Um, I'm torn between Jesmon and Gallimon. Gallimon just has such a cool design. It's just so sleek looking. With the shield, the lance, and the colour scheme of it, the gold and red. That's just a really good... And also the cute little Gilmon. The cute little Gilmon part of his helmet. So you know where he came from. He remembers his roots. Like, you can't look at Omnimon and think, oh yeah, I'm Agumon and Gabumon, obviously. But... Yeah, that, 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 that's definitely a final form Gilmon right there. Also, fuck. Oh no, shit, our favourite. This is the worst thing that could happen. I guess Gallimon's just dead now. <laughs> after, we, after I was sitting there singing his praises, he just fucking dies. Aww. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it sucks. I was hoping if he's going to absorb him, maybe he'll get part of him on his design. He's getting there. He's getting to achieve a new form. He's working his way to it, and it, it's going to be something. He's going to be a black hedgehog. <laughs> Goes full on shadow. I am the ultimate life form now. Give me a gun. <laughs> I need a pistol, even though I can fire bolts of energy. I need a motorbike so I can go slower than normal. <laughs> This is what I was after. This, this is who I am. So Eximon fucked off. Most of our buddies are exhausted and Gallantmon is dead. And Magnamon's tail is getting cold. And that too, yes. What? <laughs> I just noticed he's got a big tail hanging out. That's not armored. He's got scales, he'll be fine. Either way. Scales? I thought he was a fur. I thought the blue was fur. Everyone in the comments, you now need to make the ultimate decision. Is V is Vmon furry or scaly? What is it? I thought it was scaly. I thought it was fur. No, I couldn't. I, oh god, I don't know. It could be because then you've got the two tones, different colours, different fur. Like on a dog's belly. Oh shit. He just seems so like gecko-like or lizard-like. That skin, that's not fur. That is definitely. Look how toned it is. That's fur. You've met a short-haired dog before. All right, y'all have to sort this shit out for us. We're never gonna come to an agreement. Have fun.